breaking. No more visas for Nigerians. The federal government has banned Nigerians from traveling abroad. No more visas for Nigerians. The federal government has banned Nigerians from traveling abroad. The federal government, through the Presidential Steering Committee, PSC, on COVID-19, has banned Nigerians and foreigners from traveling abroad and into the country for one year. The National Incident Manager, NIN, of the Presidential Steering Committee, PSC, Mukhtar Muhammad, disclosed this at its briefing on Monday in Abuja. Muhammad said that the citizens had been posted at all the major federal medical facilities where medical experts were assigned to give care to Nigerians and foreigners that had traveled into the country during the COVID-19 third wave. He said the government had insisted that passengers who arrived into the country, especially from high-risk countries, must be quarantined in a government-provided facility and that the passports of those who failed to comply with the protocol had been suspended for one year. We have included the provision of quarantine for passengers who arrived from high-risk countries and people who evaded these protocols have been penalized by publishing their names as well as suspending their passport for one year. Let me assure you that so far we have published the, the list of over 2,000 people who evaded quarantine in our health facilities and we have gone ahead to ensure that their passports are suspended. So, for every action that are consequences, he said, the news agency for of Nigeria, NAN, reports that the PSC on May 1, 2021, issued a travel advisory for passengers arriving in Nigeria from Brazil, India, and Turkey. The precautionary measures were a necessary step to mitigate the risk of importation of variants of concern and breaking the chain of transmission to the population, according to the chairman, Bos Mustafa, under the measures, passengers arriving from all that have visited any of these three countries within 14, within 14 days prior to the visit to Nigeria were required to follow mandatory arrival quarantine and testing protocols in designated facilities. But many passengers failed to observe the compulsory isolation or to present themselves for the PCR repeat test on, on the 7. Various findings have shown. The federal government, through the Presidential Steering Committee, PSC, on COVID-19, has banned Nigerians and foreigners from traveling abroad and into the year for one year. The National Incident Manager, NIM, of the Presidential Steering Committee, Mukhtar Mohamed, disclosed this at its briefing on Monday in Abuja. Mohamed said that the citizens had been posted at all the major federal medical facilities where medical experts were assigned to give care to Nigerians and foreigners that had traveled into the country during the COVID-19 third wave. He said the government had insisted that the passengers who arrived into the country, especially from the high-risk countries, must be guaranteed in a government-provided facility, and that the passport of those who failed to comply with the protocol had been suspended for one year. We have included the provision of quarantine for passengers who arrived from high-risk countries and people who invaded these protocols have been penalized by publishing their names as well as suspending their passport for one year. Let me assure you that so far, we have published the list of over 2,000 people who evaded quarantine in our health facilities, and we have gone ahead to ensure that the passports are suspended. So, for every action, there are consequences, he said. The news agency of Nigeria, NAN, reports that the PSD on May 1, 2021, 
issued a travel advisory for passengers arriving in, Bra- in Nigeria from Brazil, India, and Turkey. The precautionary measures were necessary steps to mitigate the risk and the potential of variant of concern and breaking the chain of transmission to the population. According to the chairman, Boss Mustafa, under the measures, passengers arriving from all that have visited any of these three countries within 14 days prior to the visit to Nigeria were required to follow mandatory arrival, quarantine, and testing protocols in designated facilities. But many passengers failed to observe the compulsory isolation or to present themselves for the PCR repeat test on the day 7. Various findings have shown. And now I've come to the end of our today's news. And now before I go, I have a comment here. Some, okay, comment here says, first comment here says, Who tell who say it would before? Nigeria should get the with trash disgrace green visa and another someone says bloggers on bloggers on the craze your heading is quite different from your story it'd be like say your brain box don't knock people are violent people people with violence and all that this actually this is one of the problems the country will not even progress and another comment is to say that's why we for no sleep 2023 we first stop this government and new rules and law for they for they say anybody from 50 years will not be elected and um another comment too says but when they steal our money they can fly i've been a wind of fire go burn their go burn their plan down their father and another comment too says some people still understand that bloggers are bastards and um lastly it says Nobody should nobody should be above this new development. All the political personnel and so called allies must adhere to it. Even the president Muhammad Dubari. Let us see how will how he will spend two point five billion for only his transportation allowance. And lastly he says don't worry yourself, no be Niger. You will hear another adversary very soon. No one is in charge here, yeah, I beg. To my dear listeners when are we going to continue doing this the the federal government has banned nigerians from traveling abroad those who are coming and who are traveling to experience um, a quarantine of 14 days and uh, to me personally i if not as if in the state that nigerian is presently i would have said this is actually a nice idea but we don't know what they are trying to do about this and they said some people took to um took to their heels on the day seven do we know the kind of things they are doing for them we don't know these things should be revealed to us and let us know what the test is all about to my dear listeners thanks for listening to to thanks for listening to today's news